Personalize your sales process and create custom offers for your prospects with formulas. In this video, we'll show you how to enhance your Hayflow with our new calculations feature. Let's get started. You can add calculations to your headline or text blocks by highlighting the relevant text and choosing formula from the toolbar. The result of your calculation will immediately be displayed in the preview. Now, when you click back on the calculation, you'll be able to adjust some settings of your formula. First, select how many decimal places should be displayed. You can also set the fallback content, which will be shown to your users if the calculation fails. Save your calculation as a system label to see the answer in the response dashboard. We'll show you later on how this will look like. Lastly, you can save or delete your formula. Whenever you want to adjust the formula, you will need to remove it, change the necessary content within the text block, and then add the formula again. Now this has been an easy example, but let's see how we can use calculations that are based on user responses. Let's say we have a painting business and want to give our prospects a custom offer. For this, we would need to know the total area that needs to be painted. Our prospect needs the walls painted in one room. We'll need to set the size parameters as variables to use these values later on. To do this, simply select the respective input block in the editing tab, then scroll down to system and enter the name for system label and variable. Let's repeat this process for the other relevant values. Once we've set the variables, we'll be able to refer to the user's input by writing add and the name of the variable. Now we can start setting up the formula. In this case, we need the length and width times two and then multiply it by the height to get the total area that needs to be painted. Lastly, we'll need to multiply this with our price by square meter in order to create the custom offer. Let's also format this text to make it stand out. Then we're just going to highlight the text and select formula. We're now seeing an error message in the preview as the formula has no values to work with yet, but the prospect will see their custom offer after they provided all necessary details and their contact information. If we also want to see the results in our response dashboard, we need to add the formula again on a screen that is shown before our flow visitors hit the submit button. Let's head back to our previous screen and add another text block. Paste the formula and format it to match the background color. Highlight the text and select formula. Now we just need to add the system label and we're good to go. So let's publish our flow and see how it would look like for our flow visitors. Let's say our prospect has a 4 by 5 meters room that is 2.5 meters high. After selecting the room size, they now just need to provide their contact information and will instantly see their custom offer based on our formula. If we're going back to our Hayflow, we can now also see this in our response dashboard. Congratulations! You now know how to use formulas in your Hayflow. For more information on this feature and other best practices, check out our user guide. Happy building and have a great day.